is supposed to be 30 mile an hour winds. And it's 90 degrees today. At least that's what the weather says. Okay. Now this wind turbine here, it's spinning fairly rapidly, and the manufacturer claims that at 26. Here's where the wire comes into the truck. Here is a solar charge controller, a real MPPT convert, you know, this thing is expensive. Um, here is the charge controller that they sold. I think it's pro probably a little more than just a bunch of diodes. But anyhow, here's the voltage. Okay, so this is the voltage coming off of these three phases. So basically what happens is it's a three phase alternator essentially. And if we take six diodes, we can convert it into DC. Okay, so basically I've hooked up this little motor, which is what you're hearing, to the DC to get an audio, 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 whatever representation of what's happening. Now these are 12 volt L16 batteries and as we can see the voltage is holding steady well now the winds probably gone down to 20 miles an hour and that's not good enough for the wind turbine but the voltage is holding steady when the batteries are actually being charged. Okay now how much current is this putting out? That's the main thing, right? Or the, the big thing at this point. So here's this little motor. If I grab the, the shaft and stop the motor, look how the voltage drops. So we can use, here is one of these clip-on ammeters and to show that it actually measures voltage, here's a wire that's going to the solar system cells and we can see it's 25.9 amps. These solar panels on the roof of the truck so that's what's coming from there now I mean this thing isn't putting out anything so to, to calibrate I'm gonna stop the shaft of this motor so we can see okay it's at like 0 0.03 I let it go sure okay we've got let's try to put on the light here Is that, I don't know. Okay, there's the light. Sure, we got 0.19 amps. Now I stop the shaft again. Oh, it's on hold. Now I stop the shaft again. And it, the wind isn't strong enough again right now for it to actually produce anything. So I'm just going to zero it, which it didn't zero. Now it's getting back up there. I mean, you can see, like, I can move this around. And stopping it again. It's at zero. Let it go. Now it should have plenty of voltage. Still, it produces nothing. I get, I'll do, turn off the motor, so it's got nothing to, you know, it's got nothing hindering it. Okay, so that motor is apparently using 100 milliamps, like I would expect. But basically the thing is, this is 30 mile an hour winds, and it's not producing anything. It's just a piece of junk, and I'll show you a picture of what the motor looks like inside, and that will explain. It's just not built well. It's poorly engineered. Okay, I went back outside again. It's not really spinning very fast right now. And then now the hose is starting to get strong again. But okay, look at that fence right there. That's my camera.
fact that I can actually stop that little motor with my hand and the voltage drops so rapidly just shows that really the motor isn't producing anything at all. Hello everybody, we are here in the Texas Panhandle, Fritch, Texas, and I will prove that to you right now. but I don't think it's generating any power. So, the whole point of this video is I've got all these tools here and I'm gonna make sure that the wiring is not the problem. Okay, that took some doing. But I've got the wiring hooked up directly to the wires coming right off the motor. I'm getting my, pretty much the exact same results that I got through this. Oh, this wind is just so fast that the wind is just so fast I'm afraid everything's gonna fly off. And I can basically stop its power output by by seizing this motor here, which tells me it really is. DC. So the wiring is an issue, it's still the unit itself. The wiring is not an issue. I have now reversed the direction of the blades with the hope that maybe, which doesn't really seem theoretically likely, a reverse of you know, a different rotation will provide more, you know, more power somehow. But we see that this is this motor takes about 100 milliamps to run from previous tests. We see that if I seize the motor, the power output drops, and we can see it does nothing to the turbine. This is the voltage once more here. It goes up, to, it's set to 15 volts right now. And we just have to wait for the wind to be strong enough to get it to 12 volts. But it's exhibiting the safe behavior that I've observed all the time. So I mean, there's hardly any point. This thing just doesn't make any power. It's pretty and it spins nicely, but the motor is just crap. The generator.